Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, since the beginning of the show, we've been talking about face masks. And it's only right that we have Folake Oyemade of Sam and Sarah Fashion uh, joining us via Skype. And uh, she's going to be telling us some uh, more about the effectiveness of face mask. Uh, great to have you here, Folake. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, so uh, for like uh, the debates for the effectiveness of face mask has been ongoing for a very long time. Uh, so it's a great one that we have you here to shed light on that. Uh, so uh, when we talk about face mask, how effective in general are they? They are actually very effective because when you do wear face mask, not only do you uh, protect yourself from the virus, the, the coronavirus and many other viruses and bacteria out there, you also protect people around you. Um, as you may know, um, when people talk, almost everyone tends to have droplets coming out of their mouths. And these uh, droplets are, you know, like your saliva from your mouth. So if you have any form of infection, that means the droplets already have the infection. And in the case of the coronavirus that is so contagious, when your droplet, as you speak, you know, drops on someone, you know, around you, that means the person may potentially contract it from you. Yeah. But when you wear the face mask, especially when you do wear very um, well-made and effective ones, that cannot happen. Your droplets stay within your face mask. Now, there are various kinds of face masks. I've, I've seen so many recently that um, it looks like a lot of people are getting it really wrong. Mm. People buy face masks as per the cost. They think a face mask is just having some kind of clothing around your face, around your mouth and um, nose, but that's not it. Mm. Uh, the most effect effective of these um, face masks are the ones that are made with cotton. In fact, the CDC um, in the U.S. recommends that you should use cotton of between 180 gram and 220 gram okay. to apply. And it should necessarily cover your nose and your mouth. So when people wear face masks and they pull it down, it defeats the whole purpose and the whole essence. Mm -hmm. Because not only is it supposed to protect your uh, droplets from getting out, it protects other people's droplet from affecting you. It protects the, the um, virus because, as we know, it's a kind of airborne. When these droplets come out, sometimes it hangs around in the air for the next four hours or more. Hmm. And when that happens, if you are passing by where, you know, the droplets are still hanging in the air without a face mask, you potentially inhale it in. And that's where you can actually be infected. So those are the minimal um, recommendation for face mask, the double ply cotton. Of course you can use polyester as long as it is breathable. Okay. Now the most effective of this face, uh, face mask are the ones that have what they call filters. Now filters are not just when you go into the market and you buy, um, I hear people these days just buy, they buy what they call, um, has, I mean, has gum steel or hair steel or something, and they just put it in the mm -hmm. face mask. That is not a filter. A filter mm -hmm. is a PM 2.5. A PM 2.5 filter has five layers, and each of the layers have their various functions in, in protecting you. Okay. So the most effective ones are actually the ones that are made of this two-ply cotton, and at the same time have a pocket inside where you can insert these, um, these uh, filters. Okay. Usually these filters are reusable and um, they're also, uh, they also washable. Okay. Unfortunately, they are not um, entirely uh, very available um, locally, but you can, see source, you can still source them from people who bring them in and okay. get them. Okay. So those are still the best and the most effective um, rewashable and reusable face masks. All right. Okay, so um, for those who might not have access to the recommended cotton, uh, what kind of face mask can they make use of? Just at least in the interim. Is it a case of you folding 
um, the clothes over and over again before achieving what you want? Or sure. how do sure. you... Just, just... Go ahead, please. Yes, just like we've seen severally on CNN, you can actually get your bandana and um, fold it over and over again, put elastic bands and put it over your face mm -hmm. or your regular scarf, even if it is not cotton. Mm -hmm. The reality of it all, though, is that any face mask is better than no face mask exactly. at all. Exactly, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you really, really do want to protect yourself, you do need one with filters. Yeah. So in protecting yourself is when you need certain types of um, face mask. But then at the end of the day, any face mask is better than not even using anything to cover yourself at all. Yes. And um, ideally, a good face mask should have a metal nose clip okay. at the top, at the upper part of the mask. Okay. In order to have it stay on your nose rails. Because you do find people wearing face masks and it is sliding down their face. So they have their nose outside. It is merely covering their mouth. That is not right at all. You do not get um, any, any reasonable protection from that. Because that means your nose rails are still open to infection and you are still open to infecting people around you if you carry the virus. Now, for, for those who might have certain ailments, say, for example, maybe breathing issues and all, using that clip, will it not cause uh, some kind of discomfort? No, you see, the clip is above your nose. Okay. It's going to be on the ridge, the upper part of your nose, if you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. However, talking about face masks, there are face masks with um, valves. Some people call them respirators. Those okay. are those ones that have, like, the plastic clip outside of it. Okay. I don't know if you've noticed them. Yeah. Um, those ones are Around usually... The valve. Um, exactly. It has it, you know, just at the side. Yeah. It's a valve. Yeah. But some people call them respirators. So the face mask with the respirators will um, enable you to breathe better if you have issues with breathing. All right. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Folake. It's, uh, it's been quite an enlightening um, conversation, uh, talking about the effectiveness of uh, face mask as well as uh, knowing which ones actually work best for you. Now, uh, to wrap it all yes, off, Falake. It is also important to know where you can get such face masks to Yeah, that buy. was what I was going to ask you now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We at Sam and Sarah, we, we, we make such face masks. We have all the raw materials. We have the nose clips, we have the ventilators, we have the filters. So we make the ultimate. We make the general one, I mean, okay. depending on your budget. But okay. um, if you really want the ultimate protection, we can give you exactly what you require because we have all the raw materials. All right, fantastic. House. Thank you so much for your time, Folake. I hope you continue to stay safe uh, during this period. I surely will stay Fantastic. safe. Uh, thank you so much. All right, then, uh, we'll have to take this break. We'll be right back for more. Stay with us.